Ford and BMW just invested $130 million in battery tech that could be a complete electric car. Game changer. Hello and welcome back to Shifting Lanes. My name's Chad and today we are talking once again about electric cars, more specifically the future of electric cars. Ford and BMW just invested a total of $130 million in new battery technology, which might come as some welcome news considering we might be facing a gas shortage this summer. Before we get into all of that, I just wanna say if you like today's video, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, it really helps us out. If you're new to the channel and wanna find your way back, consider subscribing with notifications on. That way you get Shifting Lanes content as we release it. Like I said before, Ford and BMW are investing a sizable amount of money into the future of electric cars, specifically the battery technology. However, that tech is roughly about five years away as far as getting into showrooms, getting to consumers. We do have a more pressing issue that we need to discuss that's gonna affect you this summer. As we have discussed in a previous video, we are already facing a microchip shortage. Manufacturers across the globe have already shut down production lines because they simply do not have enough chips. Now, thanks to a lack of qualified drivers, we are facing a gas shortage this summer. And if that wasn't enough, on the whole, it has become increasingly more difficult to transport items across the country because of this driver shortage. Come harvest season, a lack of drivers will cause disruptions in food distribution. Reports indicate that transport companies are in dire need of qualified drivers. While the supply, in this case gasoline, seems to be fine, the number of drivers is down nearly 25%. Simply put, the trucks are ready to go, but there aren't enough drivers to drive them. A NTTC, National Tank Truck Carriers representative, told CNN that roughly 40 to 60,000 truck drivers lost their ability to drive because of a new federal program that identified their history of prior drug or alcohol violations. Combine this with driving schools being closed during the pandemic and the supply of new drivers is not enough to replace the outgoing drivers. What does all of this mean to the American motorist? Well, it means gas prices unfortunately are gonna go up. And as gas prices rise, it seems like a logical place to start talking about electric cars again. Let's face it, you can't go a day without hearing some more electric cars car news. We have electric Mustangs in our future, we have electric pickup trucks in our future, and pretty much everything in between. However, electric cars are far from perfect. EVs on the whole tend to be more expensive than their combustion counterparts. Then there's the topic of range. While many EVs are getting some truly impressive range numbers, there's no escaping the fact that when you run out of electricity, it isn't a quick process to recharge. You do have some quick charging stations, but when compared to filling a car up with gasoline, recharging batteries is a somewhat long process. Enter Ford and BMW. Like I said before, they recently invested $130 million into a company called Solid Power. Who is Solid Power, what do they do, and why is their technology a potential game changer when it comes to electric vehicles? Solid Power is a Colorado-based solid-state battery company. If you've been paying attention, then you will know that solid-state batteries are something of a holy grail in battery technology. They offer more capacity at lower cost and are significantly safer than the current crop of batteries used in the automotive world. How do they achieve this? Well, buckle up, because we're about to talk about some science. In a conventional lithium-ion battery, the electrolyte is liquid, which in some cases can lead to a fire at higher temperatures. Solid Power has replaced the liquid electrolyte with a highly stable solid ion conduction material. As a result, their battery is more stable across a wider temperature range while also enabling a more efficient cell and pack design. By combining their state-of-the-art cathode with a lithium metal anode, by combining their state-of-the-art cathode with a lithium metal anode, solid power's batteries are able to deliver more than 50% more energy density when compared to the current batteries. These batteries are also inherently safer because solid power has removed the flammable liquid electrolytes. At this point, we should discuss that usually when new tech comes along, Long, there's always a concern that new tech means a new manufacturing process. Solid Power claims that production of their batteries is similar enough to the current lithium ion batteries that transitioning existing plants to make their batteries should be an easy process. All in, you end up with a product that utilizes a simpler design, has up to 50% more energy density than current batteries, is significantly safer than current batteries, and once they ramp production up to production car levels, up to 40% cheaper to make than existing batteries. In car terms, you end up with more range, 
less risk of fire, and a car that is more attainable to the average person. When you consider these factors, it should come as no surprise that Ford and BMW just invested a total of $130 million into solid power. In addition, Ford will be opening a $185 million facility they're calling Ford Ion Park to develop a new process for producing these solid state batteries in-house. When will you start to see these batteries make their way into production cars? Well, Ford for one is still heavily invested in lithium ion batteries. That said, solid power will begin production of automotive batteries next year, and according to their CEO, Doug Campbell, these batteries will be used by Ford and BMW for testing and development. BMW say a prototype featuring these new batteries will be on the road by 2025. All things considered, we are likely five plus years away from a solid state battery powered EV making its way into a showroom. All of this sounds amazing. You end up with a better product at a better price. You end up with a product that offers more range, so you're gonna be spending less time charging it up, which means you can take longer trips without worrying about spending a half hour, hour or so at a charging station, filling your car back up. Also, the better price means electric cars are about to get far more attainable to average people. When you wrap this all up, this battery technology is really the, the kick, the step forward all these auto manufacturers needed to say, hey, look, electric cars are coming, we're gonna be 100% EV, and you're not really gonna lose much of what you already have in a gas-powered vehicle, i.e. just the convenience of taking it wherever you want and taking five minutes to fill it up. These battery packs will far outlast the organic bit inside of the car. And what I mean is, you're gonna need to rest, you're gonna need to fill up long before these vehicles do. While solid power, solid state batteries do a lot to alleviate the concern of the electric vehicle to the average consumer, we are still talking about a brand new technology. With brand new technologies, you have a lot of concerns about, will theory match the real world? A lot of times you have a theoretical awesome product, but it doesn't really work in the real world. Ford has invested a sizable chunk of money into this technology. However, they spend a significantly larger chunk of money on existing lithium ion technology. In theory, solid state batteries are the future of electric cars. If what solid power is saying about their batteries, this is just the first step in a wave of solid state batteries coming to electric cars in the not too distant future. However, like I just said, theory is one thing, Real world is another, and only time will tell if these batteries are the electric car godsend they seem to be, or if they're just another really, really good theoretical idea that doesn't quite work in the real world. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. I wanna take a second and thank you so much for watching. If you wanna take this conversation to social media, we are at Shifting Lanes. Solid state battery technology. It promises the future. Will it? Time will tell. But as for this video, that's a wrap. I'll catch you next time.